Hey YouTube, it's uh, March 2020. I just got a Sarco Brandmark 3 parts kit in the mail. I'm going to do an unboxing video. Um, I forgot this kit actually. I bought a um, sent me as well. Or, but... All right, first thing out of the box is a magazine, Brand magazine. Comes with five magazines in serviceable condition. They're all in there. This looks like my set me kit, so I'll put that aside. What a mess. I'm going to clean up these packing pants and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back with the Bren kit. First piece to come out is the uh, lower. Pretty crusty shape. But it'll clean up. If I ever build this gun, this will all clean up. Put that aside. Let's see. Next big piece is the barrel. Looks like a. Yeah, I'm not sure what any of that means. Got front sight, no gas regulator installed. Bore looks decent, crusty, but decent. Small parts on both sides. Comes with a bipod assembly. Right, I'm gonna open up this bag, I'll be right back. Alright, YouTube, so these are the receiver pieces for the Sarco Mark III kit. Um, it's about what you expect from Sarco, um, although I'd say it's actually not too bad. This area here is not completely destroyed. Um, Repairing this, I don't think it'll be too difficult. Most of the, the barrel journal is still there. Um, looking, yeah, looking down in there, it's not all scorched or destroyed. I, I think it's manageable for fixing. Uh, the main thing is saying the space for the the barrel not there. Uh, Come back to the rear here. The locking piece goes back inside, like right below here, which uh, the pivot holes for the magazine catch are still there, so not completely destroyed. Um, I even have let's see that. Even the rear Surfaces for the magazine to catch or sit against are still there, so This isn't too bad. It's not great. This thing can be easy, but it is possible uh, Maybe not today But one day I'll Hopefully get this done uh, Come back to the rear rear pivot hole scorched, but well 
most of the holes there. I think I can kind of reconstruct it and figure it out. Um, set the spacing with the, the bottom piece and yeah, it's it's not too bad. This is this is isn't completely destroyed. Um, there's a look at the interior. It's a mess, but it's not too bad. Other people have proven you can fix these. That's what I plan on doing. Um, might have to wait till I get a different kind of welder. I'm thinking about a TIG welder for this. I don't think I can do it with my Fox Core welder, but yeah, this actually isn't too bad. I can mill this out, weld a steel block in there. And then machine it as close to the original dimensions as I can. Just kind of make it look good. Uh, as far as the rest of the pieces, it looks like everything's here. I'm not familiar with Brens at all, so... Uh, I know this is a locking piece. This goes inside the receiver. Um, but, yeah, as far as if all the pieces are here, I don't really know. But I worry about that later. Um, the good thing is I got a repairable receiver. Um, I did get a second front sight. This appears to be a different style than the one that's on the barrel. I'm not sure if, what kind of barrel this is. Again, I don't really know much about Brins, but all right.